Welcome back, everybody. We're doing another proliferate cube draft. I let's take just... battery man. Battery man? Yeah. Well, let's take Psy and build around. I was going to take Baleful Strix. Yeah, Psy might come back. It's Baleful Strix. You ever cast a Baleful Strix? He's pretty good. Yeah, you'll be He'd dead. He'd do a little drawing. He'd do a little blocking. He'd do a little pecking. <laughs> so essentially, he, he attack and protect and resource. I don't think the resource is really part of that. Why not? Oh, let's Yawgmoth. Oh, baby. I just saw how good Yawgmoth was, and that seems good to me. It's a build around. Anyone who didn't take Yawgmoth is a big dum dum. <laughs> There's no better cards. So, are the top of the, the creme of the creme? Dr. Horrible, Dr. Horrible, telephone call from Michael B. So much bail for such a little Strix. Wise words, Beer Man Man. Who are you talking to like that, Michael? Beer Man Man. I don't remember his real name. John. Oh, what are you like, friends with him or something? <laughs> Would you like meet him in real life and hang out? In before he might be on my Facebook and I'm forgetting. It's definitely a possibility. Yeah, John told me earlier they were working on uh, the, the next L.A. Noir. He definitely did not, or else he definitely <laughs> wouldn't be saying that publicly. <laughs> yeah, John is actually it, super uh, tight-lipped about, about what they're working on. So It's like his job might depend on Yeah, it's almost like if he told like me. There's a, what do they call them, NDQs? ND, mm, I can't no, think No, you're thinking of, of PDQ. That was the oh, chicken tender restaurant. Those are good. Man, their ranch oh, was good. I think Glimmer is good. Uh, scry two, draw two. But God's Drool Assassin synergizes with. I'm sorry, what is it called? God's Drool? God's Draws, Ghoul Draz, Ghoul that's, that's the one. Now take the draw spell. Oh, Scholar of the Lost Trove. <laughs> you know, they're just another Sphinx that draws like three or four cards. Basically. No, Michael, it's when it enters the battlefield. This is from this is Commander all over, buddy. You may cast an instant sorcerer or artifact from your graveyard without paying its mana cost. Hmm. Well, the problem with that is there's a another card like that, but it does all your opponents, and I think it's the same cost. So, also, if it costs me seven mana or more in Commander, it better just win me the game immediately. Huh. Is Hypocras like good here? You play it, you block, you sack. Yeah. I'm just kind of. Well, I don't think there's anything else for us, right? I'm working on Title Redacted and it's very good. He already used that joke with me in chat today. He's just he's just recycling his own jokes. Hey man, when you got gold, keep keep on mining. Hmm. Doesn't actually make sense, but you know, fill in the blanks, etc. Keep on mining, bro. I used that title in all chats. It's a chat title. Okay. Okay. Me like e bread sticks. Is that right? Yeah. You ever had one? I don't think so. I'm Slaps. My stomach is doing a little rumble. Well, I don't think you had that much food, and also it was like a year ago. Cheese and toppings, right? Yeah, it was cheese and toppings in a bun. Good cheese and toppings in a bud. <coughs> I don't know which, which, which direction this deck is going. Really don't want the arc bound stinger. I mean, we just, we just embrace the salt high nature of things. Buddy, salt high piles are the best. Salt is such a good color and commander that like, you have to do almost nothing to make your deck very strong. Like you just play the cards in those colors that aren't like draft garbage and you're going to have a good deck. Your draft garbage. I know. 
fucking god. Move all counters from one creature onto another. Look at this. Is that your mom? No, but that card is pretty good. Don't they call her the Hobble Fiend? I was unaware, but maybe. Because of her knee accident? Oh, wow. Too soon, buddy. God, Gotti? <laughs> Feed, buddy. Choose two creature cards in your grid. Sack a creature, but you return them both. Okay, Second this is just two. different art. Yeah, this is yeah. good, though. It's a great card, but I think Feed this one is better. Really? I guess you can sack Synergize. I don't know. You ever removed an enchantment? Michael, you ever sack Synergize? Oh, actually, Talisman big. seems great here. Let's take the Talisman. I'm going to do a little sack synergize. Wouldn't you like that? Don't you like my thing? Exile permanent control returns to the battlefield under your control. Under its owner's control. Begin the next end step. It enters with a, 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 a creature. This is the blank tr trick. Yeah, it's just like otherworldly journey. And 800 more cards around that converted mana cost in those two colors. Yeah. The converted commanda cost. Is a new place nicer than where you're at now? Significantly. We think so, yeah. It's like double the space and much more modern. It's pretty much, it's insane. The little extra we're paying compared to what we're getting is kind of nuts. Okay, none of these, no, nothing is coming together here. Well, you got more packs. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, that was just a bunch right. of weird lands. Two of them are good. Wait, one of them's good. Which one? Flooded Grove. I'm talking about the lands in the last four packs, not in the oh. entire pack. Why would I be talking about the early picks? Me? No, no. Dear Jesus. Oh, that stringer grace looks weird. That border's kind of whack. I agree. It seems like it's like cut wrong, but it's weird because it's a image on a computer, so there's no reason for it to be weird, other than laziness. Okay, well you get cutthroat for the 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 pingies. I'm getting grim poppet, Michael. No, you're not. Excuse me. You could silver squill, and we could be esper. Silver squill. We do have a fetid heath, one whole fetid heath. I don't know if I even like this card. Really? Let's make two ones for days and kill them. But don't they get, they also get a thing. Yeah, they draw a card and lose life. That's three a turn, baby. Six, really. If you count the dragon. I want to take watery They're grave. Dead. They'll be dead. Wait, did you really take Poppet? It's in my pool, isn't it? Remove it. You don't even know what this card does and you told me not to take it? So he's a seven mana one one, but he becomes a four four if you do the thing. If you kill if you kill something or kill things. I guess he's pretty good with Yagma though, because you can like proliferate and stuff. Yeah, we all. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. Oh, I like a soul herder. Does he like you back? I think we're just soul herding here. And then Thraven tables, that'll be good because it's a pretty good Saki. Part That's the Watervel is also pretty sweet. I love that card. Part the water. Well, I can't really play in Commander. I'm pretty sure people prefer getting killed in a two-card combo than you ever taking one extra turn. <laughs> people hate it so much. I'd rather die at instant speed than see you take a second turn. It's like someone was arguing that for like more casual but slightly higher power games, you should be able to play Mass Land Destruction. I'm like, like I get it, you win with that, but like I have to watch you do it for 20 minutes. It's terrible. I'm just gonna scoop. Oh, Soul Horror is pretty sick with Poppet. Oh, so there's a breeding pool, though. But a Vista, that's pretty good, actually. Yeah. Also a Gambit? Not a not a Revista, though. Isn't that your favorite isn't that your favorite X-Men though? No. <laughs> yeah, I think he's, he's still up there though. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> oh, well, it's just it's because of the accent, isn't it? You're one of those people, right? Yeah, I hate yeah. accents. So judgmental. <laughs> Remove a counter from an artifact creature, land, draw a card. It's actually pretty good. 
That's. I feel like we're really going all in on Yagmoth at this point, though. If we don't draw him, we're just like, well, shit. Wait, what does this have to do with Yagmoth? You gotta have a thing to counters to take, you know? Yagmoth doesn't put counters on your own creatures. Oh, it's also not just your stuff, it's any counter. Well, that is pretty good. No, well, this is you control. Oh, what are you saying right now? You're getting everything wrong right now. <laughs> what else? I've never is new? seen someone get ever this many things wrong. In really? Because like a... we lived we live in the same house. <laughs> you should be used to it. <laughs> okay. Well, you know, you okay? That's your well, follower. It would have, and it would have made a little noise, and that that might have been slightly annoying. You could have also broke my possessions, Michael. Man, is that what me, you want? Pardon me, is really kind of considering just dumping a thousand dollars in a goge coin. Goge coin. Goge. <laughs> Look at that fucking weirdo. What about Priest of Forgotten Gods? It's pretty good. Not for us, bro. Why? We have seven creatures, and we're not going to two or seven drops. What? How many creatures? How are we sacrificing two other creatures to do this? Get more. Okay. that's You don't have a real answer, so I, now I know I can't take your suggestion seriously. Sounds good. I may have not counted how many creatures we have. Okay. <laughs> Patriarch's bidding. That card's great. Take that one. We don't have any creatures. We don't have any any tribal synergy. Oh, I didn't. I didn't know. I didn't even look at our deck when I made a suggestion. That okay. Card's, that card's expensive these days. Is it really? Yeah. What's it go for? I paid like forty bucks for mine, I believe. Forty dollars. I mean, for a card that's like in almost no decks. No, I mean, I'm, that wasn't a joke. Like, oh. I'm actually surprised because, yeah, it's literally... I think it was like 40, not 100%, but... I guess I can't just search. Actually, yeah, use your screw fall. Yeah, 43 bucks on... Yeah, that's... Yeah, I think I might have paid like 38 for it for like a moderate played version, but... Oh, part the water bill came back? These people have no respect. Animating Fairy also <laughs> seems pretty good. Just put, uh, put a bird on it. Yeah, put a bird on it, you know? I mean, you just need, we need bodies, you know? I need your body. Although I've yet to actually cast that card. Chokes, think... Dude, this is 3907 for the cheapest one, so you got scammed. Wait, I got scammed when I paid 38 Oh, shit. Actually, I should look up how much I actually paid for it. I can find out, right, I guess? Yeah, maybe you made a dollar. Sick value. TCG has order history, right? That's the thing. I guess that'd be weird if they didn't. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> never, you'll never know. I'll never tell. Enter my password. Looks like we're more Esper now. We got Creeping Tarbit, Fetid Heath, Watery Grave. We're doing all right. Man, one password such a banger. Because not only does it keep you safe, but also I literally, it just makes my life easier to log into things. And you're probably going to get less less hacked. Yes. But I'm saying there's also a huge convenience of being able to always thumbprint every login ever for always and forever and less hacked <laughs> yes yeah less hacked okay so i like Actually, flooded stream, but i think parasitic strix might be better because we can just keep blinking with soul herder bidding will that work then again this is an on color patriarch <laughs> michael how can you crush the patriarchy if you can't even spell the patriarchy this phone did it for me. I'm going to take Flood Strand because I think Parasitic Strix is way more likely to come back. Is this card any good? It feels really fragile. Oh, especially in a format with so many negative one, negative one counters. Like, whenever... No, it's good in Commander, but I think it's too weak for normal format. It's just like a four mana mana Gorge or Hydra. Bless you. Papa bless you. Spark Double, maybe? Spread the Sickness could be all right. Just kills get up, anything. Get down with it, you know? Oh my God, I ordered too much stuff. Yeah. yeah. Who knows what page this is on? We know. Tezzeret the Seeker. Are you good here? We have Baleful Strix, Hypocrisite. What are you seeking, bro? Replicating Ring. Oh, actually, I just have a giant order, so my page is not that long. Totally normal. I think I actually just want Stone Cold Serpent. That guy goes anywhere. Oh, do we take Vish Call, Michael? No. Really? It's a lot of mana, buddy. It's also a 5 5 Flying Lifelinker that has two banging abilities. Oh. 
up to you, I guess. Maybe my ratings are off because I rate it for your commander, which is too much mana unless he's in your command zone. I figured out work for when you move, Mike. Yeah, he's just going to work. For, he's still working from home. I plug in my computer to the internet, and then I work like I normally do. Oh, wow. Gadi. Yeah, now I work from home, so it doesn't really matter. I'll just take the cat. Oh, God, the shrine. Oh, polluted delta, though. <sighs> I'm going to take the delta, I think. No, these are too old. When did I order this stupid thing? The more reason. God, I'm really getting lost in the sauce here. What if he cooks with too much pineapple and loses his thumbprints? I have no idea what that means. I don't. Oh, for my phone? I, I guess that's a bridge I'll have to cross. Oh, Blade Splicer? Yeah. Then I can just log in with the password that I know. So, Joke's on you. You don't know any passwords. I remember my master password. Did I not buy this on... Did I buy it from Jake? Well, I might have bought it from Jake. You don't even know, bro. I don't remember. I thought I bought it on Tisselges. Bidding has two Ds, right? No. One D? No, two Ds. Hmm. Ooh, Sunken Ruins is a a banging boy. Um, this card's actually pretty sweet, right? Making four four angel. And then angels you control get destroy a creature with power less than this creature, and then angels gain double strike. Three Ds. I mean, it's just an angel, right? Oh, the Parasitic Strix came back. We're loving it. Also, Hanged Executioner was in that pack, which I think is also pretty good. If I go to the card, does it tell me if I've ever ordered it before? Hmm. Dude, what are you looking for? I just want to know what I paid for. You're looking to see if the, there's a dollar difference between yes. your patriarch's bidding? I'm just curious. Okie dokie. Well, I can't find it in my order history, so... Guess it doesn't exist. I guess the world will never know if I gained one dollar. <laughs> <laughs> just jumped on the air fryer bandwagon. Excited to start. I mean... I, I still don't know how I feel. How I feel. About... Okay, oh, wow. there we go one of us i think it was just way too hyped up for me and i'm just like eh. i mean because it's, it's just an oven right like it's just an oven it's just an oven man i'll take this stupid bird anyway i guess why would you insult the bird like that he could be smart tezzer it gets you a bird two birds you get two birds with Tezzeret, bro. I do kind of like Tezzeret here better. I'll take this Aurelia. Oh, that was a joke, but... Well, wow, apparently there is uh, no one playing red cards. Wow, that was a lot of red cards at the very, very end. The Goddess Shrine did not come back, though. But we do have Vista and uh, Flooded Strand to get a, a Plains. We have Fetid Heath. Mana base is probably just fine. We need one cut here. How many creatures you got? 15? What about the construct? Isn't that guy kind of... This? Do you know what it does? He gets counters. I know that. Does he get you lands? It's 4-4-4-4. Four, 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 four. When it becomes the target of a spell, sacrifice it to make 4-1-1 one, one artifacts. With or without the kicker? Without, No matter what. If he's kicked, it enters the battlefield with 1-1 one, one counters for each non-basic land your opponent's control. Interesting. Opponents plural as oh, well. Oh, so then if you kill it, you get eight boys. Well, I guess, well, it depends on how many lands they you got. smell it? Someone cooking. It smells I'm banging. I want to go, I want barbecue now. <laughs> we need one cut. Oh, you want barbecue? Might be double white. surprise. Oh, 
Spike's four four angel of vigilance. It's pretty good. Vigilante. Might be animating Faye as well. I think this is actually probably the the weaker link. Goodbye. And let's put all the good lands in here. Hey man, you remember that time when I thought I got a good deal on sleeves, and you were like, "No." Yeah, Michael's like Amazon had a good deal at like eight, only thirteen dollars each, and I was like, "It wasn't thirteen dollars, okay?" So this is four. You're exaggerating now. Okay. The point is, Michael overpaid like four dollars a package for the sleeves. They retail for like seven. I think got for like eleven or something. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine blue. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten black. Hmm. And then four, five, six, seven white. That seems good. Motorcycle okay. go fast, 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 fast. Yeah, bought it from you. No, I don't think so. All right, so for for those watching on YouTube, this was the deck we drafted, and then I stopped because I had to go eat and hang out with Katie and spend time with, with her and do things and whatnot. So this is our deck, and we have not played a match with it yet, but I thought it looks pretty sweet, and our fixing's pretty decent, and we have some cool cards for those just joining us. And um, yeah, hopefully we can uh, win some games and we'll see. Oh, what up Team Jabro with the raid? Thank you, buddy, really appreciate it. If you guys are here from Team Jabro, what up? Welcome, welcome. We are uh, playing some rounds with our deck in the Proliferate Cube, as you might imagine. And uh, it's good having you. It's good. It's good having you. Y'all got that fancy enchantment land? I don't think anyone has it yet. I don't think you know how um, card releases work. <laughs> Kerwood, how's New York treating you, buddy? Isn't it like one thirty there? Are you still on Seattle time? Is that why you're, uh, you know, awake? Mm -hmm. All right, let's do it. Oh, look at this mana base. Oh, we can play Soul Diviner on... Ooh, I think we can get a Godless Shrine at this. Let's keep and let's find out. <sighs> so we can go Soul Diviner into Parasitic Strix into Soul Herder. Soul, Soul. Okay, we might just want to play that instead as to not risk it. I'm not entirely, I'm not 100% that we have Godless Shrine. I think we do. But since I'm not 100%, I'd rather just guarantee. Because if we have like Hollowed Fountain, well, I guess Hollowed Fountain does the same thing, right? So, nevertheless, we can play the Flooded Strand on a turn where it doesn't cost us mana. Or life, rather. It's never going to cost us mana. 
Two, three for two, also just not a bad deal. Basically broken. And it's a good amount of things that are all uh, coming down. I ate katsu curry today. It was delicious. Man, Kerwin leaves Seattle to go to New York just to eat Japanese food. Good times. Let's play a planes and this beautiful baby bird. Also, Soul Herder blink this guy remove a counter from it to draw a card that's a that's a combo right there that's what we call a combination maneuver okay that's really good okay well that's a thing isn't it that is what's known as a thing Guess we're taking five here. Mm, yep. Oh yeah, give me that give me that good blinks. Still winning the race. <laughs> that seems good. Let's crack our flooded strand and then draw a card. Five five stone cold serpent's not bad. What does this guy do? Proliferate twice when you That's pretty good. Four four five five. Oh dear. Well, that's aggressive. Things are happening. They're like four, five, six, seven, take nine thousand. All right. Well. Hmm. Oh, we didn't crack this. Interesting. So, losing all abilities. I think we're killing this first. Probably sacrificing the Diviner. I really want to get rid of these two, actually. <laughs> this guy's just going to get bigger. So I think we're just going to play Yogmoth here.
They have one card in hand, so if we can control this board. Blink him. So hold on, I have to unlock this, put a stop on my end step. Let that resolve. Okay. Take it off. And if they swing with the throwing bird, we can block here. Like one, two, three, four, five, six. Next turn we can doom to center, kill this and this. Actually, maybe we just let the throwing bird hit us. I don't know. Still have one card. That's a good one to have. <laughs> Solid top deck, I guess. Oh boy. This is a human. This has pro humans. Oh wow, that's actually pretty decent, all things considered. I did not think this was a human. I would have thought this was like a, you know, not a human. Wow. All right. Oh, what up, Fritzy boy? Oh, that's not it. Hold on. I'm trying to delete this plug because it should not be advertising still, I don't think. Yep, that's pretty good. Yeah, okay, they changed their mind. Yep. Targeting the bird six, seven. You take nine here. I feel like we really need to draw an answer to this guy. I feel like the two, like, putting counters on this means, like, I want to kill this thrumming bird. I have no cards in hand, so let's go to blocks here. Oof, that's a good one. That's a good one. We have five, then we go to four after the flooded strand. Uh, we did not have a godless shrine. <laughs> good for me. Mm. I just made that up. I just made up having a godless shrine. This guy was a lot better when he was going to be a, oh, but, pr oh, but protection is okay. Hmm. Interesting.
Don't have anything exciting to blink here, unfortunately, but. It does get a counter nonetheless. If they could draw a land, that'd be great. I think we're dead. I don't think we have this game, but. Yes, Flying Trample. This has Reach and Pro, so it gets two gets through. That is that is correct. Those are the abilities on the card. It's kind of rough now. So we take two. We go to one. We can play spread the sickness and pump some guys. A lot of lands here. This guy gets pumped, this guy gets pumped. We have a decent amount of things on the battlefield. Proliferate this guy and this guy. So they're going to have a 4-4 four, four and a 5-5. Five, five. I think we're actually stabilizing, so long as we don't die. Which is kind of wild. <sighs> Dying is pretty wild. Yep, four, four, five, five. Let's remember not to... Oh, this is uh, water. Okay, good. I'm like, I thought this was a Pluto Delta in play for a second. I think I had a mild stroke, but... Uh, let's bring Blink this guy as the only one who gets to be Blunk. What kind of creature is this? An island fractal. You know, like you do. That's fine. Really? Huh. Avatar cat. Interesting. Man, if I... Oh, wow. I should have played the Swamp and then proliferated onto my own guys. Oh, that would have been such a next-level play. Yeah, see, that was bad. See, I just totally missed it because I never use the proliferate ability on here, but I have so many excess lands. Yeah, this is fine. We don't have anything to really take advantage of Soul Herder with. One, two, three, four. Um, uh, really love some way to gain life. I wish you had life link. I feel like glimmer is probably the best thing we can do here. Maybe. Or it's just Shadrick's Silver Quill because it's a blocker. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, none. 
I don't want to give their guys counters, nor do I want to give them cards, nor do I want to give them a creature. I do have I do have the desire to discard an island to make my guy 6-6. Six, six. Get blunked on. Who got blunked on? Oh, because I blunked it. I got you. I'm picking up what you're putting down. Oh, that's pretty good. That guy is a wild stallion. Actually, maybe giving them a card and then proliferating on all my things is pretty decent. Okay, um, you know, I kind of want both of these, I think. One to kill this guy, because he's a pain in the ass, and then Grim Poppet is just a banana banger. So we'll do that. Play this guy. Play Capsule. Uh, target player creates a 1-1 one, one flyer. Okay, so it says at the end of your combat, you may choose two. Uh, target player. Wait. Oh, okay. Target player creates one one flyer. Yeah, okay. Creates a 1-1. One, one. Puts a counter on everything, right? Like, their 1-1 one -one doesn't do much because we have a guy with... Yeah, I think that's fine. Thank you! Oh, Sariash, thank you for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. And if you guys want to support the channel, a great way to do so is to subscribe. Hopefully you guys will consider doing so. Streaming and content creation is one of my primary sources of income, so if you guys had the heart to uh, to subscribe, it would be just swell. I'm going to kill this guy, because I don't like him. Okay, uh, Instant Sorcerer Artifact card. That is an artifact. That's an instant. Soul Herder. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we can actually go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This thing. You drew a counter spell. How wonderful. So what is a six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve? Hmm. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Not quite. That was unfortunate. None. Do we want to attack? No. Reason being is if they attack with both, like we can only block this with a stone coil and then we're just losing any other creature we put in front of the avatar. So not ideal. Yeah, don't care about your stupid little cubby. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have ten, so we can play Grim Poppet and then uh, proliferate if we want to. Hmm. 
Okay. We do want to screenshot our deck next game. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, that'll that'll do. <laughs> wow, stabilized at one. What a game. I'm just gonna submit like this. I think our deck is pretty decent. Hmm, no blue. Two seven drops. I think the two seven drops and nothing castable is probably the deal breaker for me. This is not much better, but I mean, Retribution and Spread the Sickness are fine. Let's send back the seven drop. I did not screenshot the deck. I mean, I said it probably 14 seconds ago. You expect me to remember? Give me a blue source. Creeping Tar Pit one time. Creeping Tar Pit. Well, I guess you were confused when I said blue source. You got that goldfish memory I sometimes. Sometimes you ain't kidding. Okay. Jesus, it's like he's in talismans over here. God, Hanon's climb is a freaking beating. Well, I can't play anything with that, but I do like having it, I guess. So, you know, that's cool. Okay. Well. Here we go. This guy's got trample, so I think the best we're going to do is blocking three. In the future, this guy's going to float, so. All right, we're just going to go to the next game. This is not a game we're going to win, especially when they go, like, flip this. Put a counter on here. This guy is six. Jump him and double it, making it 12. Yeah, we're just, like, dead on the spot. Okay, now we're going to do it. Don't say you're not going to do it. Okay, we can also figure out what we can search for. No Godless Shrine. I just totally made that up. I was probably looking at Fetid Heath. Oh, what up, Mind Stab Thrall? And we'll all float on, okay. And we'll all float on anyway. When it comes to target of a spell, you sacrifice it. So there's no way I can Apostle's Blessing, unfortunately.
I backed my car into a cop car the other day. <sighs> what can they do? Oh, it's a grim pulpit. Uh, this guy does not target anything, which is nice. I think we actually just play Glimmer here and pass. I don't want them to steal my Doom Dissenter. I mean, Glimmer, you know. On their turn, anyway. Man of War. Sure. I mean, if we, if we can make four one ones here, then they steal a one one though. So that doesn't Thank seem you. great. Oh, what up, two-way? It's like I'm married on Twitch to a dude that looks a bit like me and also plays magic. I don't see the difference. That seems, uh... Oh, they didn't attack with their manipulator. I mean, I'm sure they have familiars ruse in hand and they're gonna bounce my man. They're gonna bounce their mana war with it, so... This is gonna be unfortunate. Oh. Uh, bottom both, I'm pretty sure. Ooh. Interesting. Remove one or more counters, gain control of target creature, power less. That's something. I think we're just playing this land. We're gonna go hoarder. Strix, and then keep up Apostle's Blessing to save the Hoarder. Like, they have two cards in our hand is pretty stacked. Yep. Mm, nope. Protection from Blue Skis. And I gained the life right back. <laughs> All right, seems good. That, that went exactly as planned. Next turn we can play Delta, uh, get an island, and play Grim Poppet. Sure, that's fine. They do not have great attacks here, which is nice.
Oh my god, really? Sure. That's really frustrating. <laughs> ah, never don't have it, I guess. And you're going to steal my parasitic strix, I presume? Yeah, cool. Good times, good times. Well, if Grim Papa comes down next turn and they don't have a thing to play this turn, we can kill Simic Manipulator, Thrumming Bird. Yeah, I don't know if that's going to even be enough. Wait, really? You didn't kick that? What did you just do? Oh, you're just going to steal my last guy? Sure. Why not just kick it in? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yeah, I don't know why you didn't kick that for 5, put 2 counters on something, fight with this guy, and then actually kill me. Like, it's just so, it's just really frustrating. Like, they could have put two counters on this and then fought here. For so 2 3 into 2 1. And 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Instead of three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We went into two. Cool. <sighs> well, that's fun. Do you like the proliferate cube or would you have preferred Monsi to leave up the pioneer? Um, I thought the pioneer cube was fine. I think this cube is actually fine too. I don't, I don't really have a, a strong opinion either way. All right, let me keep this. Yield until the end step. I don't know who this is. Chosen color is green. Oh man. 
spread for slaughter. What up if you're watching this one? Okay, now we get to play Replicating Ring, perhaps? It's better than Soul Herder with nothing on the board, I think, so. Ring it up. Oof. It's a good one. Maybe this deck was not as good as I thought it was. Learn things the hard way, you know? The hard way being by losing. I think we're going to take four more, and then we are going to Glimmer of Genius. And by four, I mean three. Because I'm not casting this, this, or this. That's how I feel with almost every limited deck I make. Thankfully, I don't feel that way with all of them. But it is disappointing when you're like, oh, this deck looks sweet, and then you're like, oh, I'm getting crushed. All right, so there's ramping here. That's a big dude. Was that a 5-4? Five, 5-3? Four, five, Okie dokie. Well, Papa needs a... Not an Executioner's Capsule. Not, not either of those. Oh, man. What do they want? 6-6 six, six would do it. Hmm. Well, well, it's time to cross our fingers. Cross those fingils. I had the most amazing draft the other day with six Quandrus Pledge Mages. That's that's a lot. And it just fizzled out. Jeez. How do you get six Pledge? That's insane. God, that's a good amount, my dude. Oh, man. We can actually sack a creature to get back our Stone Coil? Chef's kiss on that. Oh, boy. Soul Herder doesn't do anything here. I guess we just need something that they have five cards in hand. Like we're just not doing anything. It's really kind of frustrating. Um, I have no idea if it's a fault of the deck. I mean, we have a bunch of two drops. We have Baleful Strikes, the Apocrisite, Doom Dissenter, Dire Fleet Hoarder, Soul Diviner. Like we have five two drops and like we don't draw any of them until like turn six. And we have Blade Splicer, Parasitic Strix, like, I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't, is this a human? Oh, it's shade. Okay. One, two, three, four. This guy. And I guess this guy. I mean, if they kill one of these guys, we're just going to, that's just done. I 
Okay. Okay. I don't hate it. Do I double block this guy? <sighs> Yeah, they can only kill one, right? Four, five, six. Yeah, I think that's probably good. If we're getting an extra turn. I mean, playing Malira, <laughs> creatures can't have negative encounters, but on the turn after I play Yogmoth. I mean, isn't that just perfect? Well, isn't that just perfect? That's actually pretty good. You're an elf. Are you you're a human? Okay. Okay, I'm actually feeling okay here. Just need to draw something good. That's not terrible with a soul herder. Oh boy. And we get to keep up Apostle's Blessing. Okay. Papa likes it. Blue, blah, blah, blah. Okay, there's definitely three men in the pool. There we go. Way to be weird magic. Oh my god, whoa. Christophus. That's not a name. It's not a name or a word. Christopher. Chris, how are you feeling after your second shot, buddy? This Niss is getting out of control, but like she doesn't really do much. Did you say Chris the Cephas? I did. I did. It was it was biblical, I'm sure. Possibly. It was like Christopher and Brocephus combined, you know? Arm hurts, back to starting to kind of achy, but over... Dude, the achiness felt... So being achy... Does anyone else think being achy feels kind of good? I don't know how to explain it. I, I It feels so weird to say. Can anyone explain it? Like... Like, it makes me wonder if it's your body releasing endorphins to fight whatever is making you achy. And therefore, like, you have this positive association with achiness. I, maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm actually just a complete weirdo, you know? <sighs> Evolutionary responses to make you willing to accept this. Is that true? Um, This is kind of obnoxious. Creatures you control can't have counters placed on them. Yeah. I just made that up. Not, it did sound smart, Dan. I was like, wow, that's... Man, Dan must be a biologist. Yep. Really felt like we were doing good. I'm like, oh, we're recovering here. Everything is happening. Attack. Kitty cat, I don't even know how you got in here. Kitty Cat was in here this whole time. Let's get back these two. Sacrifice one of these dum-dums. Oh, they come into play tapped. That's fascinating. Uh, blink this dum-dum again. 
Let me be able to that. All right, well, reasonable. Are you from the future? Christopher, you know people can't tell you if they're from the future. God, unbelievable. Okay, I don't care about that, but you probably, mm, yep, yeah, okay, well. Are you going to play Guy and Evolve? I bet you do. I like a good flesh carver. Again, it's my favorite sandwich at the at the Boston Market, the old flesh carver. Just delicious. That's a good one. What's you gotta you gotta you gotta specify what's a good one? I haven't had Boston Market in twenty years. <laughs> Because they have the Carver sandwiches, you know, you get it. It's a it's a joke about the Carver, the Carver sandwich that they have. This thing's gonna pop soon. You just wait. Flesh Carver is what I call my fists. <laughs> oh damn! God damn! What is this? Oh, do they just draw like 14 cards? Well, that's always nice. Oh, I kind of like that. Hmm. Oh, we can actually remove the negative one, negative one counters here. Oh, that's banging. You want to graft onto my guy? Okay, target player Chris, I'm gonna give them a one one and then we're gonna make a counters on all our things. Choose target player, you, me. We could also activate the creeping tar pit. Cause then we still have this up. I don't think it's worth it. Like, I don't know if the two life is worth the uh I wanted to be out of, I wanted to be in a position where like if they if they proliferate twice we're not like just totally benoned. That's boned, but if you you know if you say it weird. Uh let's blink bladey boy again. Unfortunately you lose your counter, but that's okay. I prefer the George Washington Carver sandwiches. They're just peanut butter sandwiches. Yeah, you remember, you remember when George Washington Carver invented the peanut? What's that from? Does anyone know? Do you remember when Al Gore invented the internet, buddy? Everybody remembers when Al Gore invented the internet. That was a good series of pipes. <sighs> Cytoplasm. There are a lot of things happening right now, and I'm not really a fan of any of them. <laughs> what nut did he combine with a pea to make the peanut, do you think? What existing nut was, was already around that he combined with a pea? Because I feel like most nuts are superior to the peanut, so if you already have a nut that exists and you combine it with a pea to get like an inferior nut, it's kind of like going backwards. Acorns. God, are acorns... Do acorns fall into the legume category? I don't know what's happening. This is very confusing. This is. I feel like this is a commander game right now, and that's exactly why I don't play commander. Oh god, that's a 6-9? Wait, I have 20 first strikers. Please do that. That'd be amazing. Can you imagine when we get 8 of these? 
good. It's going to be amazing. Do they have anything with reach? They have one floaty boy here. <laughs> that is, that is a nice, nice slug. Uh, is that a 69? Nice slug. You'll give in the, you know, I really think I will probably give in a commander one day. This is going to proc next turn. I think we're doing okay. Let's... Do I want to give them an extra card? But now you're too far away to play paper. That's not, I mean, that's not true. People are playing on spell table all the time. It's something. I don't know if I want to give them another guy because then they can they put counters on another guy? They can graft onto it. It'll put two counters. They can proliferate. Yeah, I think giving them more creatures is a little scary. Whereas I think putting counters on our guys is probably where you want to be. So I'm going to remove a counter from this lady. Draw another card. I don't know how this game ends because it's really a matter of like, let's blink Blade Splicer again. Okay. Dude, I feel like this one Malaria is like keeping this entire game. I mean, we get to kill it next turn with the, with the Freya's. Oh wait, hold on. Do we have any other angels? No, right? No, it doesn't matter because it, it procs next turn. No, enjoy your card. So we can Yawgmoth to proliferate. You're moving a counter on to what now? Oh, that's pretty strong, actually. Can you only move them two? Yes, okay. So Cytoplast Root can... Oh, but then you can graft on other things. And then they get two. Kitchen Finkos. They have one flying creature right now, so that's good to know. All right. Is this infinite? No, they're limited by their mana, I guess. This is really, this is a board, man. In 19 Dickety 4, George Alsington Gorver Gorver invented the peanut butter. <laughs> That's Oh, wow. That's just incredible, really. Are they going to do it again? Oh, they're just going to play a chroma chromaton. Could could Tarpit not have killed Nissa? Oh, Tarpit. Yeah, but I don't really. I I honestly don't really care about the Nissa that much. I'd rather. Uh, this is gonna make a million next turn, so we're gonna have a lot of mana to work with. They just got the Sky Cleave back. That seems fine. Eight six. Uh, gets two counters, and then those counters were a third. Oh, for fu fuck it. I can't. I don't know what's going on, man. This is fucking convoluted. I'm 
Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten. Is that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten? All right, done. Okie dokie, here we go. <laughs> no, it was land. Oh, that's a six six. Now I can just mow things down. All right. If we kill their one blocker, can we kill them? Five. Six. So this is what? Five, ten. This is sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. I think we just win here. Okay, so they have no mana. Um, Turbler draws a card. You draw a card, my guys get counters, resolve it. Look at this, this is wild, man. Proliferate, discard. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten, eleven. Done. Attack, one. Attack your face, your face, your face. You stay home, your face. Okay, shoot you. And that should be the end. That's one hit. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I'm in danger. Oh, dear God. Good grief, man. Oh my god. Well, that was game one. The, the, the problem is none of our sideboard cards are actually that great either. Like, they didn't really do anything. I'm just gonna submit. Dear god, I don't think Gigantha's in this cube. Ophelof. I'm proud of you. Yeah, we'll keep this. That what a game, dude. Two flyers decided the whole thing. Let's just hope they don't play a two drop, huh? Oh, what up, Neon Tokyo Rain? Wow. That's phenomenal. What a two drop. This is what happens. We always get freaking absolutely blown out by like, we're always going to win game. One. It's like game one is always a nail biter game. Like, like the first game one, we, we they were at one life or we were at one life and we cry and we end up coming back and crushing game two was an absolute blowout because they got an amazing start and our deck couldn't keep up. And then game three, Who knows what happens in game three, but this is like, this is how it goes, right? Like we have to like eke out a win in the first game. The second game, it's not close and they crush us. Wow. So this guy was a three, three, but it came into play as a four, four. So this guy got a counter making it a five, five. Yeah. Like this is seven damage already. Like, what am I going to do about that? take eight go to nine and then we're dead on board like yeah that's it like what a, like what a bunch of what a bunch of bullshit <laughs> like, meanwhile again we have two drop two drop two drop two drop two drop where are they nobody knows you will have soul herder in my hand every single game <laughs> i don't get it okay i'll keep it because of the three drop and we're on the play and thran is good and
Savage. Absolutely savage. I didn't crack Vista because I didn't know what I'd want. Like, if we drew a blue, we probably want a second black because we have a Yawgmoth. So it was beneficial for us to wait. See, now we can get anything because we do have double black now. So we can probably just get an island, so we'll have double blue as well. Hmm. Well, blue, black, blue, black, which means this planes does not let us cast any of the other thing. This is super obnoxious. Let's just get a Yaga Moggles. Yeah, I just want to explain to people like why why we waited there instead of just like slamming a prismatic vista and or, or playing the black source first. Like the other thing is yeah, like we could play black source first, but okay, that's that's probably good enough. To, actually, did we just hit a baleful strix and try to mise a land? You know what? I'm not above that. I am above hitting the land though. That 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 is that's factual. Have you, have you, have you, did you, have you ever want to land so bad you would do anything? <laughs> have you ever had a dream that, that you, um, you had, you, you, you could, you do, you, you want, you, you could do so, you, you do, you could, you, you want, you want him to do you so much you could do anything? You know it, kid. Buddy, you know it. Uh, I think I actually like Soul Herder and Soul Diviner here. Oh, yeah. So next time we can spread the sickness. Yeah, that's fine. We're definitely killing this Marin. And then we can play Scholar and kill the Drana as well. I mean, this is just netting them life, but I think them gaining two is just obviously better than us gaining three than us losing three. So I wanna I mean we're gonna be blocking all day long. Anything else getting a counter? No. So we can just spreading seas. Spreading sickness, not spreading seas. Uh, you. Dunzo. Um, I don't think we're... Yeah, I think the enchantment is literally called lifelink. <laughs> no, I think it's, is it lifelink or is it spirit link? I think it's spirit link. I guess we're blinking, like what's better? I think, I, I do think a um, an extra card here is better because we have them covered on board. Oof, part the water veil is nice. Plus we can soul diviner and, and take a counter back. Now we have apostle's blessing. We can actually apostle's blessing, give pro black, block and kill Madrona. It's like old armadillo cloak. Oh, that's that's cute. But mm, me no thinky so. Soul Herder is too important for our plans. Oh, they didn't like that. <laughs>
blessed day under his eye. You never want to, I'm always worried about misclicking. <laughs> are we, are we doing, are we, are we doing some, uh, some handmaid's tale memeing right now? Cause that's pretty funny. What does this do? It comes back, but it can't get a negative counter, so they're always just gaining the life. You know what, buddy? This is a cute trick. Dude, Malira is the freaking MVP. It's It's been bananas, all these games from counter drawing. Ooh, victimize. What do we get back? Yogmoth and nothing else yet? Okay, okay. Hmm. <laughs> I feel like we just part here. It's not exciting, but we could Strix twice. Let's Glimmer and hit a land. How about that? Okay, well, we hit two lands. Put the Delta on top. We'll bottom the Tar Pit. Yeah, that's fine. Let's get another Black Source. Now we can play Strix. get him and now we have scholar next turn for spread scholar and spread them i feel like we've i don't even know man i think we're just blade splicing this turn like we have a pretty stacked hand we can draw another card with soul diviner maybe this is not correct but Oh man, they, they snapped. They could not have tapped that forest faster. Okay, they're sacking. Oh man, this is this is combo city over here. Okay, they draw one card. That's fine. Oh, they didn't gain life this turn. Okay. Sunken runes. This one drawn is really a pain in my ass. Okay, so now we have spread the sickness to kill I don't know what. I think it's either Malira or I think it's Malira here. Malira is far too much of a pain. I might as well get an energy counter. All right. Doing it. Because if we get back Yawgmoth with Victimize, it's... Uh, it's good. It's good. Uh, I don't think we're attacking with anyone. I think we're just going to keep blinking. Like, we want... Oh, we can actually blink the Scholar, too. Oh, man. Soul Herder is freaking ridiculous. All right, we have five minutes on the clock, though. So let's try to actually win the game instead of just dying. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Next turn, we can play Strand. And Awaken... This one Drana. Actually, maybe it was the Drana just because we get through with so many creatures if we get rid of Jana, Drana. Let's yield until the next end step. I would like one more removal. <laughs> Replicating Ring is not what you're looking for here. Castle Awaken on this island.
Okay, Grim Poppet actually does the job. Uh, no attacks here. Blink. Sphinx. Yes. What does this do? Get back. Uh, no. Okay, we're not gonna. That was that was bad. I'm trying to play fast because we have four minutes on the clock. So. <sighs> All right. Drana, Drana, Drana. Land. Flying, flying, flying. Everybody get in there. Oh, they have no cards in hand as well, so that's pretty good for us. Let's blink Parasitic Strix. Put the triggers on the stack. Oh my god, it's taking so long. Oh, we can also blink Grim Poppet, which is probably just 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 lethal. Lethal AF. Yield until next end step. I don't think we're gonna be doing anything. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I'm not even drawing cards anymore. Good games. Ooh. All right. Thought we were dead. But then we, we were not dead. We were alive. Tootsie Roll, I think I'm in love with you. All right, 1-1. One, one. Not bad. Not bad. Undead, then? Was it Liliana that did? <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, I, I probably. You thought you were dead? You had a path to victory the whole time. Okay, so I actually, we watched the first episode of Invincible tonight, Mike and I. It was pretty good. And it definitely, the ending, I was like, oh God. No spoilers, please. But uh, yeah, if you guys haven't checked it out, you probably should. It's Also, the voice acting is great. J.K. Simmons' is voice acting Um, friggin' it's funny because we're watching Mad Men and we're on season four of Mad Men right now, and um, John Hamm was one of the first voice actors you see. Whatever it is, yeah, it's funny if you look at the characters on the show. Look at the one you think might be J.K. Simmons, and that's J.K. Simmons. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Okay, I would love blue mana. So blue mana, four drop blue mana is the is the situation. Is the sit wow, how many how many emergent sequences do we have to play against? Cool. Seems good. Just to be clear, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have nine sources of blue along with a replicating ring. So ten sources of blue in the deck. 25% of our deck. Is blue sources okay this is fun yeah i mean we're taking three four five six at the very least next turn and we uh, yeah that's, we have nothing to play okay i mean we should have mulligan didn't have anything to play i just figured we'd draw things to play because our our deck is I, I feel like i personally feel like our deck is pretty consistent or it should be uh again five two drops have not drawn epocrisite uh 
one time in three matches. We've drawn Baleful Strix once in three matches. All right, let's... Uh... Like, our mana base is pretty good as far as I can... Like, we have nine sources of blue. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten sources of black. And then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven sources of white. So nine, eight, seven. <sighs> what do I know? I mean, it happens. That's magic, right? That's just life. I mean, this hand seems good. We have Glimmer, Soul Diviner. Oh, what up, Gamma Set? What up, Dream Meme Weaver? I was that Golgari opponent. Oh, why did you say that? My God. It's so funny when like regulars, when I play against like regulars in either the chat or in, like in, in, in either YouTube or um, Twitch regulars in the, in matches. And then they're like, Hey, I'm a big fan. You'll like watch you on YouTube. And I'm like, but they, they say it in such a way as if like, I don't know who they are, you know, but I, I do because I've like interacted with you a bunch of times, you know? You know what? Sure. I'll bite. You got tricks? Or do they just want a 2-2 here? Okay. Oof, that's a good one. Let's play this first. And we can play planes. Can I, man, it's too bad you can't do this on opponent. I'd be like, oh, I'll take this counter elf. But do you want to take the counter elf? Because then it would be, you can undie again. Okay, you're right. Maybe I don't want to take it off. Okay, you win. Whatever it is I think I see becomes a Michael B to me. Doesn't even make any sense. Okay. So they just wanted. This is an easy block. Long Toast Cub gets out of control if you don't block it. So I'm fine with trading for my Baleful Strix. That guy is something. Okay. Victimize is actually pretty sweet. Getting back like Baleful and Yawgmoth is nice. We'll see if that ever happens. I have four cards, we have four cards. I'd like to think our four cards are better, but... Saddle and Rhyme Stag is pretty sweet. Attacking as a 4-4 four, four for two mana is not, not bad. That Green Belt Rampager, however, <laughs> not the not the best there. So we can sack a Yawgmoth to get uh, to get two other creatures back. I don't think we're doing that. We will keep up Glimmer, though, because we have nothing else to do. Okay, you got it. Oh, it's if you have another creature. For some reason, I thought it was land. I don't know why. I did a bunch of Modern Horizons drafts. Do you think I'd be smart? Victimize should be an instant. Yeah, sack. I'll sack this creature that you targeted. Blimah. Um, I think we want to land here. 
Oh, we want an apocrysite though. Let's let's take I'm gonna I'm gonna keep both. We're just gonna draw another land though, so it's gonna feel silly. Yep, there it is. Okay. So we can actually go Epocrisite, victimize the Epocrisite. Which sounds terrible when you say it like that. I'm gonna victimize the Epocrisite. One, two, one, two, three. Why do they come in to play tapped? That's that's really kind of a pain. No. Come on, man. Give me something. <laughs> like, I'm like, I keep forgetting because I'm like, well, I got to sacrifice a creature. There's no way they come in to play tapped. Well, my dummy. So this guy gets a 1-1 one, one counter, making it a 4-5. So what we can do, pay a life, choose up to one creature, this guy. Sack a Bailey boy, I guess. Well, The reason being is if we put counters on all our creatures next turn, like I want to be able to draw cards with my soul diviner. <sighs> Crying out loud, dude. <laughs> this guy again. Sure. Take seven, I guess. One, two, three, four, five, six. We can part the water veil and do like nothing else here. We have to block at least two of these guys. Put two one one counters and up to one creature you control. We can play Sphinx and like get back. Actually, get back Baleful Strix here is kind of good. Yeah, all right. I think that's what we have to do. Yeah, Baleful Strix being... I mean, I would victimize here, but I don't really want the uh, <laughs> the guard that comes into play. Like, both my creatures come into play tapped, I have one blocker, and then we die. Whereas this draws us a card. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We could have played five and then nothing else. Okay. So next turn, we'll have one, two, three, eight mana, so we can actually play both of these. Blink this, Glimmer... All right, well, fingers crossed. They have two cards in hand. I hope they're two lands. <sighs> sure. God, come on, dude. It's literally three, four fight cards in a row. Fight, 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 fight. Like, okay. Also, for you guys watching, uh, one of the sponsors of the stream right now is ExpressVPN. Uh, there's a link in the chat. If you guys are interested, you can uh, check out that link. 
And uh, if you guys don't have a VPN, it's a great way to protect yourself while surfing the internet. It's a great way to look at different content on different sites. Um, so like, for example, like Netflix and stuff, um, has different content based on where you're located. So you can actually use your VPN to log in from say like Denmark or Japan or wherever. And, uh, VPNs are pretty sweet. They also hide your internet activity. So definitely check out express VPN. If you guys are interested, uh, you can use command VPN in the chat to get the link and, uh, yeah, check it out. Express VPN. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think it's just these two, and then like Shadrix is kind of good here. What does this do? You gain life equal to the greatest power. Sure, that's fine. I don't care about that. Okay, so we're gonna go one, two, three, Soli Boy. One, two, three, four, five, Black Shaddy Boy. Hmm. I kind of want to put 1-1 one, one counters on all my creatures, I'll be honest with you. But I don't think we need to right now. Reason being, we're already going to counter from the Soul Herder. Blink the bird. Always yield to that guy. All right. Yeah, gain that life. I wonder how many more fight cards they have in hand. We're getting Apocrisite next turn and we can part the water bale. Yeah, Krenko is actually just fine. Okay, I think we're stabilizing. <laughs> okay. They might actually attack with the 5 6 just to get rid of the, the Baleful Strix. They did not. They were like, you know what? No. Nah. Well, that's a good one. Okay, free 4-4 four, four is nice. It also has three counters, so we can actually start eating those. Delicious, delicious counters. So they have nothing in the air. Do we want to... 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8... So it's eight at first and then eight, nine, 10, 11. So we can deal 19. I think we're just attacking normally here. Plus giving them two, two cards. So we can deal 21. No. Tezzeret's interesting. We're drawing a lot of cards here. And that feels good. What can Tezzeret do? Tezzeret can get a Parasitic Strix and Executioner's Capsule. So one, two, three, four, five. Two to activate. Two, three, four, five. Play a land. Watch for one. Capsule. Kill this guy. Um, Tarkoblet draws a card. You draw me counters. One, two, three, four, five. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, nineteen, twenty. This is twenty-two damage. So they just have to block like that. And they go to four. I'm just gonna play this guy for two for safety. And then we're gonna blink Baleful Strix again. So 
So now we have three creatures. So they have to get rid of two of them and also... Yeah, I don't... I don't think they can do that. Okay. All right. Last game. Let's see if it... Let's see if it does anything. Uh, this is a snap keep. This is the exact kind of hand we're hoping to to start with more frequently. Are we going to go 2-1? That'd be great. Turn 2 Strix into turn 3 Ring. And then, like, taking a counter off the Ring with the Soul Diviner each turn is kind of cool. Oh, boy. Zimnipod, have a good night, buddy. Always good to see you, my friend. I think I might play Diviner because, like, this doesn't do anything. Like, I think we're just taking three more because next turn we can play Stone Coil for three. And that blocks Ram Gang pretty easily. Yeah, it doesn't block that very well, though. Oh, boy. See, this is what, what's even happening right now. All right, they have two cards, though. That's okay. I mean, they're just going to fight, right? They're just going to go Long Tusk Cub, kill the Stone Coil. Ooh, that's not what happened. This just gives Hexproof, right? Yeah, all right, cool. That's completely fine. I think a lot of people forget about Stone Coil having uh, uh, protection multicolor. See, now all of a sudden I feel like we're in good shape. Oh, dang, 2-1. I did not expect it based on some of these draws, but thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Hope you guys enjoyed the games either way. Be sure to subscribe or follow. If you're enjoying the content, definitely consider subscribing. It's one of the main ways Twitch content creators are able to support themselves. And I am a content creator as one of my primary sources of income. So definitely consider subscribing if you're able to. Really, really appreciate you guys. And uh, I'll see you next time.